Um, so Zach, you're here, man. I'm here. I'm literally here. Actually, watch this. I can touch you. Oh, yeah, you're in person. We're not used to doing this in person. I know. We're used to doing it. What's over funny the... is uh, the podcast isn't used to us hanging out. Hanging out, yeah. But we do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not as much as we like. Adult life is when you're 30, you see your friends every six months and, you, and then you just don't miss a beat. But what's great about our relationship is that we could not see each other for six months and it's almost like we saw each other yesterday. So yeah. It's fine. We catch up. We we do like we before we started recording this we were talk for like hours before yeah. so, um, but I'm happy you're here. Thank you for being here in person. The podcast is starting to kind of come into its own thing where yeah. we're going to do more live stuff. So it's definitely fun. Um, so um, I have a question for you. Okay, and I feel like you would love this question. So the question okay. I have is it uh, nerdy? It is very nerdy. How how'd you know that? Huh? How'd you know that? I I mean look around you. <laughs> So the question I have for you and for the audience is if you could take one artifact from a world, a fantasy world, okay, like me, say I want to, I love Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. I punch Gollum in the face. Yeah, as you I, should. <laughs> yeah, he deserves it. Um, and I take the one ring. Little bitch. <laughs> and I, I leave and I take the one ring back with me to, this, to our world. Okay. And I get to use it. But the caveat is Sauron knows I have the ring oh. and he has the ability to come get it from me. Oh, so if you universe hop, they can universe hop back to you. Yes. Okay. And that's a bigger problem because our world is terrible. Real. On, the, on the one hand, I'm like, we're not equipped for Sauron. And then on the other hand, I'm like, I don't know. I think a nuke could probably help. <laughs> yeah. It could work. It, mm. it, we'll try it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mount Doom? Mount Rubble. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my question to you is, uh, with us being nerdy, we know about a lot of nerdy artifacts mm -hmm. in, in the world, uh, in worlds we love. What is the one artifact you would just love to have, but know you may have to deal with, with X, the Y, repercussions yes. of said action? I have, okay, I want to keep thinking about this, but I have a knee-jerk answer that I came okay. up with. Um, and I guess my, my okay, I had a knee-jerk reaction, and then that kind of led to an A-B situation. Okay, so like, okay. One was going to be, could I take Dragon Balls, and could I only take one Dragon Ball? Or would I get the set? You know, that's a great question. I feel like the Dragon Balls themselves mm -hmm. is a set. Like, it's, it's okay. one object. It comes together it's, in, yeah, like, it's a, one a object. box of... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, because, yeah, you can't just have one Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, think, I feel like all seven are, are, like a, are set. a set. Yeah. That then led me to... That could lead to some some bad people coming to get me. Very bad and people. And some very strong, like, universe-destroying <laughs> people. Yeah. So maybe yeah. not so much. But the genie lamp from Aladdin, Ooh. I feel like there's not a lot of people who would, like, angrily come at me. And, they, or come at me, and there's not a lot of people who... Um, like, there seems to be some magic in that Aladdin universe, but I don't feel like anybody would, like, come... Like, if it just disappeared. It was in the Cave of Wonders for a long yeah. time. Genie's a good a good genie. He's mm -hmm. not one of those, like, monkey paw situations. Yeah, like, yes. They're like, I want to be rich. And they're like, okay, you're a drug dealer, and the police are coming <laughs> after you. <laughs> or your great aunt died that you love very much, right. and she left you her fortune. It's like your house burned down, and you get the insurance money, but you also yeah. lost your wife and your pets. And then yeah. it's like, oh, what have I gained? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like the genie the robin williams genie would be like okay I, I got you fam okay so do you really feel like so i guess the person i would say would be coming after you for the genie lamp would be jafar that's true would but you he, be able to deal with jafar with his magical abilities i feel like if aladdin can deal with jafar <laughs> i can deal with jafar, okay. you know? he, he outsmarted him and it wasn't like you know a chess move <laughs> it was yeah, yeah. pretty easy yeah um I don't know. Part of me also wants to say like the G Lamb one is actually pretty good. I never even thought about that. Thank you, yeah. especially because you get three wishes out of yeah, it, and yeah. that leads to infinitely more possibilities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's did you? You don't watch that much um, Dropout TV, but there's a there was an a episode of Um Actually where Brennan Lee Mulligan is being. You know, they, they're going through it and somebody was like, you seem like the kind of guy who would figure out how you could wish for more wishes from a genie. And he was like, I've never been more accurately burned in my life. <laughs> that's, that's totally me. I've spent time being like, OK, a genie says you can't get more wishes. But technically, if you wish for more genies, then you're not breaking that rule. Ooh, so that's like clever. It's it's I think I could handle that's it. That's pretty clever. Part that's of me clever. wants to say like 
like a digivice would be real cool if it came with a obvious it's digital companion. Digimon, yeah, 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 it's got to come with its companion. Otherwise, I'm like, wow, what a cool beeper. <laughs> <laughs> like a Tamagotchi device that right? doesn't like, do anything. Man, this doesn't even turn on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What would you, would you cool. go for the one ring or like, I mean, mm. it's corrupting. Yeah. Well, that, not only corrupting, it's just like, I mean, cool, turn invisible. That's true. I mean, but, I think, okay, you're a Lord of the Rings guy. And so I want to ask you this question because I've never actually, I've always kind of assumed this. Mm-hmm. Um, they, you get the invisibility when you put it on. But I feel like that's not its its only power because otherwise, I mean, the main power was it was it was a way to like uh, mani- manipulate the other rings to take control of those. Oh, that that makes sense. Yeah. That it's like the one ring to rule them mm-hmm. all. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So, does it have any other like? Does it funnel power to, straight from the source? Like to, to be to be honest, um, I think from how I interpret it was it was a way. It was it was a it was a source of since Sauron put all his malice all his you know power into this ring it was something to like enhance him yeah yeah you know it like it, it kind of like <clears throat> kind of like Cell made Cell Juniors it's like they're not quite as powerful as him but like allegedly it, it hosts his power. Yamcha got beat up by them yo Yamcha got beat up by everybody. <laughs> that's not that's a low bar. I don't even know if he was there that day he, he was, was. <laughs> he was like I don't know fam like, <laughs> Like you guys know, I got killed by a Cyberman, I, right? I just, I, I just play baseball now. That's all I do. <laughs> yeah. Look, I got into sports. Uh, I thought this was gonna. It was called the Cell Games. I thought it was gonna be. Also, side note though, he was like a big fighter, and for him to like learn, it's that's kind of like a one up in like our world. That's a one up though. Like Yamcha, he was a human. Yeah. He was good enough to kind of like fight with the best of them, I guess. Mm-hmm. And he became a professional baseball player out yeah. of that. That's like. Peak performance, yeah. Right like there. this dude can fly. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's cheating. He's like yeah. a high fly ball. Oh, yeah, I'm just got it. <laughs> I feel yeah. like that's cheating, but he did get this power off his own accord. Yeah. Friendly reminder to the internet that Krillin is the strongest human being in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, Krillin. Uh, yeah. But so you were asking me about the One Ring. Um, the One Ring. To be honest, I don't know if I would take it because I would knowing, take it. I'll tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> knowing that Sauron, a like. Six nine seven foot dude in all like armor is coming to murk me. Yeah, I don't know if I can handle that. And and, and like, then he might bring orcs with him, or God forbid, a Balrog. Like, yeah, yeah like like a demigod coming after yeah. you, and you're like, I think I'll take the genie lamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. Like when you said genie lamp, I was like, fuck, a genie lamp was a <laughs> genius idea. Because like all I can think well at first was like, uh, like the One Ring or or something mm-hmm. like that. Um. But yeah, like I, I, cause like in our, like we talk about this, like, you know, in our fantasy minds, we think like I could pick up a sword and start taking out things. There's like, like you've seen the thing going around the internet. That's like men who it's like, ask your husband if you think he could win in a fight against like a bear or an ostrich or something (laughs) like that. And so many guys are like. I could take an ostrich. And, look at me. I can't take a hamster in a fight. I will lose. I know I'm weak. I know I am uncapable. Like, I, in, a, in a standard one versus one human being, I know how to fight. I, I can at least hold my own. If like an ostrich is coming after me, no chance. No, yeah. I just curl up into a ball and accept my fate. You and I were talking about like um, that channel uh, of the two guys and like and they had their podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he was like, he's like, I could fight a moose. <laughs> he's Dude, like, he's have like, you what? seen a pig? Like how realistically large moose are? They're, they're giant huge. fauna. They're they are the giant the the biggest deer yeah. uh, in in. They're the last the remaining world. great. They called great. them great faunas, fauna, yeah, which yeah. were like giant like giant sloths, sloths and, used to be like yeah. massive and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen videos and moose are mo- meese moose moose. <laughs> I think moose is plural. Meeses. So meeses are. <laughs> Mises are are violent. Like yes. they they're, I mean they mostly keep to themselves. But it's not like they won't defend themselves. Yeah. So like they'll go up to cars. They're very just, territorial creatures, yeah, from what I've heard. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So you know. Okay. So going back to the guys, uh, the the whole mm-hmm. audio that goes around of yeah. like, what's your favorite pop tart? It's like mm-hmm. strawberry. That's such a basic answer. And he's yeah, like, like, my favorite pop tarts are the two thousand four spider. So okay. My basic answer is the genie lamp. I think mm. that's a, a very standard answer. Yeah, yeah. If you want a specific answer, Shane, you mm. want a very niche answer. My favorite book, He Who Fights with Monsters. Mm. They have now. This is I'm gonna bend the rules a little bit here. They get um, like basically to get your powers, you get like these. 
I forget, I'm going to, I'm going to simplify it for the audience here, but you basically get like a crystal that you absorb and it gives you power. So okay. like, you'll get like a, do, they're called essences. So okay. you get like a doom essence or mm-hmm. a fire essence or a strength essence or a flying essence. And right. then you get these sub essences that like, you will just take like a, uh, like a dragon essence mm-hmm. and it's not, it's like a quintessence Yeah, and you take it and it like, I'm probably butchering this a little bit. So any he fights with monster fans. I promise I'm a big fan. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Luna, if you're listening to this, I love you. <laughs> He's the author. Um, and he, like, you you would take a dragon quintessence, mm-hmm. and then it would decide where, like, your your soul would essentially decide, oh, I'm going to put the dragon quintessence with your fire essence to create this, like, dragon fire ability. Mm-hmm. And I so you need four, or technically you need three, and then your soul produces its own, and then you take all four, and that's how you become like an adventurer or like a superhero, essentially, mm-hmm. which is like, and then you rank up from iron rank all the way up to diamond rank and everything like that. I want my essence abilities so that I can be okay. an adventurer and so I can level up all the way into like basically immortality and like mm-hmm. superpowers and like that dragon fire be- that lets you breathe fire might by the time your diamond rank turn into like you can like jet stream fire out of you and stuff like that. It's really cool. So that would be my specific answer on a broad genie lamp because the genie lamp could get me my essence set. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's interesting. I, I so I, while you were talking about that, I was like kind of thinking of like some uh, options. So like, I wonder if this kind of works. It's not really an artifact, mm. but uh, I was thinking like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Does that come with? That's what I was wondering. Does yeah, do yeah. I get the power? Do you get the Zoid? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, it's got you gotta. Do you like? Do you I just get know. the like ha 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 Power Ranger set, or that like you get the powers? You get the because. Correct me if I'm wrong. They don't get like, or at least what I watched. I know there's been like, <laughs> there's a like a billion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, like, do they get enhancements? Like, do you get enhanced strength and speed yeah. and no, stuff yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Or is it just like, here's your protective costume? No, I remember from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I mean, they were like, they were stronger. They knew karate and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, they like they already were teenagers who knew how to fight. Yeah, but. Yeah. But I think when they when they um got the powers of being a Power Ranger from Zordon that like they had the like in enha- like superhuman enhanced abilities. Like when but they're I think in their only ranger. when they're in the Ranger yeah, yeah, suits. Yeah. Like, I agree because they were able to jump higher, able to like l- be, they were stronger. Yeah. You know? um, so, but I feel like that's like it's kind of like a combination though. Like it is. You it can't is. be like the Green Ranger and have the sword and like call the Dragon Sword, you know, like you, it's kind of comes hand in hand. I, I still love the meme that goes around. That was like, in case you ever feel like you're not doing anything useful with your life. And it was like the Green Ranger blowing the flute, but he's wearing a helmet and they're like, how is he <laughs> blowing into the flute? <laughs> he's wearing a, basically a motorcycle helmet. Yeah. His little breath isn't making it through that. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> yeah that's actually pretty funny. Um, so yeah, I think, I think a Power Rangers, uh, um, that's a good morpher. Which, which color would you go for? <laughs> Red, of course. Really? I love, dude, I was a huge Jason fan. Blue um, or black. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the original Black Ranger named Zach mm-hmm. spelled it Z A C K, and I was like, that one. <laughs> <laughs> he spells it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. See, like, I'm a huge T Rex fan. Ooh, so, I mean, that's a good choice. So Tyrannosaurus, yeah. and like, not that I see myself as a leader, but I always liked that Jason was like a decent leader. He was. Like he really cared about his friends. Um, the, I my favorite color is red, so the Red Ranger. But I love Tommy too. I love yeah. Tommy. And when the Green Ranger came and became the White Ranger, it was like, damn. Uh, yeah, it was. And then he had the, he, the drip on that outfit. It yeah. was white, but he had the black and the gold around yeah, it. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know if that's just red, but all right. Like it's kind of hard, but uh, definitely, definitely, I'd I would want to be uh, uh, a Red Ranger. Um, sick. I'm trying to think of a different artifact. So I had a couple in my mind. I, I'm running through like our favorite kids anime right, stuff. Right, so like right. Digivice Pokeball, if it came with a Pokemon, like See, this Team is Rocket. L- yeah. Like, am I just catching a rain? Like, okay. So like, again, <laughs> people are coming after you, but also like the Pokemon universe doesn't even have anyone like necessarily super aggressive. <laughs> It's that's like, true like if, if you were like a pokemon like trainer coming after you yeah like I'm like, like, eh, like eh, even eh. if like giovanni came after you you're like dude you're like you're blasting off again what are you gonna do yeah you're just gonna like what send your pokemon after me okay sure dude. yeah it's it's the risk reward situation is much lower like i would love to have i'm for the audience i'm wearing my cubone necklace right now cubone's my favorite pokemon i would absolutely try to 
take a, I guess I wouldn't want to take a cue bone, but if I could Dang catch a, will. If I could catch a <laughs> wild cue bone, yeah, that yeah. would be pretty cool. But like, I guess if I'm taking someone's cue bone, I, I feel pretty bad about that. Actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to. <laughs> You're like, you're like, because like, well, my whole thing with Cubone is like, okay, so like, this is, this is for the audience. When I was like eight, I played the first Pokemon Red when it came out and I read the Cubone description and it's like, it wears the skull of its dead mother on its head and cries itself to sleep every night. So my eight year old self was like, no more. Mm-hmm. Every Cubone I find is part of the family and I catch it. So I would have boxes and, bo- and I still do this. Every Cubone I come across, I catch it. Did did Red, did the original have a limit on boxes? I can't remember. It did. Oh, oh, yeah. And not only did it have a limit, I went back and played them recently. Not only did it have a limit, but like, you know how if, if, if the box is full, it'll go to the next box. Yeah, yeah. It didn't do that. That's why You would just go that. to catch a Pokemon and it would be like, that box is full and it just wouldn't catch it. And I was yeah. like, oh, I've done that before where it was like Zapdos. And I was like, oh my God, Zapdos. And it was like, your box is full right now. And I was like, just go to the next box. <laughs> I remember, I remember that because like you would have to actually switch the box, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember in, um, when Fire Red came out, like the revamp. Uh, it would automatically go to the next yeah, box. Yeah, there have been some really nice quality of life upgrades in Pokemon. Yeah. Like Pokemon still, in my opinion, has a long way to catch up to everything else. But at the same time, like they're still pretty great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I love Scarlet and Violet. I thought it was great. I can't wait for more iterations of like the next gens. You know, I was just thinking about an artifact. I was thinking about I would really, really love an actual Batarang. To put on my shelf, okay, but that, but, but I don't. Then Batman's coming that's, after that's you. That's what I was saying. I was With like, prep time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm I, sorry, I, Bruce. How do you know that name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'd be like, "I'm sorry, giant bat." Right? <laughs> like, do they have to come after me? Can I just like show up in their universe and be like, "Can I just take this from it. the police?" Like, yeah. you know, Gotham City's got like a thousand of those little batarangs, and they're like, "Oh, bats has been here." Yeah, I feel like. I feel like I could negotiate with Bruce. I feel like yeah. I'd be like, hey, man, look, I'm not a threat. I just want to, I love you so much. I like mean, look, I'll come show him. Like, look what I got. He'd be like, you're really weird. Like, but wow, okay. you're a stalker. <laughs> yeah. um, Why but, do you have a picture of the Joker behind you? Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> you're in it too. <laughs> yeah. Um, damn, I'm trying to, is there any other artifact you can think of? You said Dragon Ball, so Dragon um, Ball's a good idea. Like, I was a big, U- we're both big Yu-Gi-Oh fans. Mm-hmm. Uh, millennium item maybe Ooh. millennium eye would be pretty sick although i like my eyes so yeah. <laughs> um millennia i i don't know see the problem with that though is that the people who are trying to collect the millennium items would will try to sh- send you to the shadow realm right right uh, and there's there's this whole lore about like it's not even lore at this point it's pretty much confirmed that like in america they turned it into the shadow realm but in reality it was like it's hell they're sending you to hell yeah yeah <laughs> um but if you had your own millennium item you could hold your own True. against like like yugi does his, does well against like uh, uh merrick and everything like that mm-hmm. like pegasus holds his own like they all kind of have their like once you have an item unless you have multiple you're doing okay for yourself. Actually, I know what you you, you said something. So we're talking about Yu-Yo. Is it gonna be the, the thing? Well, dual this would be pretty cool. But I was thinking about what if I had the Millennium Eye, right? right? And then go to a casino. Oh yeah. Yeah, but eventually they would start being like, Hey dog, you can't gamble here anymore. Like oh. even if they didn't catch you, like even if they couldn't figure out how you were cheating, they would I mean, if I get kicked out, if I get kicked out of every casino, you'd be like thirty-eight million dollars. Yeah, in, I wouldn't so have like, to worry about but it. But at that point, I would just take the genie lamp. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is a good one, dude. I'm kind of upset that I didn't Thank think you. of that. One. That's yeah, a yeah, good I'm one. Pretty yeah, the dual disc would be pretty sick because w- the worst that happens is like Kaiba's mad at you. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> yeah. like, Give me my tech back. Yeah. Now duel me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think here. Kids shows. Kids. Shows. Uh, okay. Let me. Okay. Can I? Can I throw out my own question? Sure. Uh, uh, I know this is like one of the most basic questions. I'm sure a billion podcasters have had asked this to people, but of the like basic superpower variety set, mm-hmm. what would be your superpower? Dude, this is the one I struggle with a lot. Um. Uh, I don't want to say invisibility because I'm already invisible. Oh, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Invisibility. I invisibility is one of my top three for sure. Really, I just feel like it's kind of lame. It though. comes with a. Um, if you have invisibility, I feel like 
there's just a group of people who are going to be like, so you're a perv. You just want to yeah, go to so locker like, rooms. But I'm like, hold no, on. I want to go into the bank. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it like an invisibility power like you can turn off? Because like, if I don't know if you watch The Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the guy who's invisible, he's always invisible. Yeah. So he, and also people don't realize this for invisibility. Like some, some cartoons and some movies don't do it right where they're like the clothes become invisible. I'm like, yeah. it doesn't work like that. Yeah. I think I can say this now because Gen V is out. Is it Gen V or Gen 5? I'm not Gen right. V. Gen V. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually got to audition for the son of the invisible guy who's also invisible and it was just his voice. So oh, I really? got to audition for that. Oh, I didn't get it obviously. Yeah, but like, that's cool. just no, I was, I was at like Comic Con this year and they were pushing Gen Envy really hard and I was like could have been me <laughs> um, you're like in the corner like Zach where are you and like looking back on it I've come I've come a long way since that audition so like I can see why they didn't cast me but I'm still like oh, good for you man I'm happy for you but I wish it was me <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah it's invisibility you're right if you can't turn it off is a problem yeah um, I it would be like um it would be like an on off switch I okay guess, I feel see like. that's that's different then but then you run into the fact of this right your clothes still don't go invisible. So say you you would always have to carry a bag. It's like Spider Man. He always had to carry a bag with him. Yeah, all yeah, time yeah. Of like clothes, of their own clothes and shit. Yeah, and then they started just like wearing it under there. Like it's under mm-hmm. here, and I'm like, yeah. do your shirts not ever ride up or like yeah, get caught yeah. on anything? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. no one's like, is that a Spider Man outfit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my uh, so power for me, mm-hmm. I feel like super strength is such a generic thing. Super strength is, in my opinion. Unless you are in a world full of superheroes and supervillains, mm-hmm. it's kind of pointless. Yeah. Um, I mean, it'd be cool to be kind of not really put in a much effort to have to, like, do things. But then you'd be the guy who always gets called to move shit. And, and on top of that, I think there's a common, I don't want to say misconception, but, like, when people say super strength, they kind of think Superman. Yeah. And so it comes with this, like, oh, you're super strong, you're invulnerable, you're fast. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably fast because your muscles are strong, but also, like, you don't... Superman is just infinite like yeah, he's, 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 got, he's got everything he's got the he's got the thing like, like i would love it. to see a superhero show where so i mean and they probably have done it on like the boys or something and i forgot but like where you have super strength and then you just get like shot in the head and then you're dead <laughs> you know I, what i mean I, like, yeah i feel like you're right because like that's the thing is like because they don't really tell you like superman yeah he may be super strong but he's like invulnerable yeah so super strength doesn't mean invulnerable right you know you're still you're still you're just a like superhuman right. like captain america let's just say that Perfect. captain america Super strong, superhuman yeah. strength, but he still uses the shield. He still avoids shit because he can die. Because he can still, he, he still, still gets a shot. Die, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, and like same with like uh, Logan. Logan, like yeah. ex, uh, he heals, X-Men. but he still he, feels the pain. Yeah, exactly. Like he's super strong. He still gets shot, and he still can get hurt, but he's just super quick at healing, so it doesn't really affect yeah. him. Yeah. So I feel like super speed is usually one of my go tos. Speed is good. As but here's the thing: speed has to also come with. Like you think of Flash when you think of mm-hmm. super speed, there has to be like a healing factor because yeah. it the speed at which he moves, the friction that you're going, the speed yeah. that you're going is gonna hurt like a bitch. Right. So if it came, with, that's my caveat. Is like I would do super speed because the or oh you know what I have an answer, teleportation. That's a fucking good one, dude. Um, teleportation I, that would be one I was thinking, but mine would be telekinesis. That's a good choice. So like. A lot of people like they like the like the basic three like uh-huh. super speed, strength, or flying. Right, yeah. flying, flying is cool. Flying's great, but I doesn't totally mean get you it. can fly fast. Right, and and like I, I saw somebody that was like, if human beings had the ability to fly, we would consider it exercise, and we would never do it. <laughs> <laughs> you also, side note, you ever seen? I think Dave Chappelle. Uh, I forget what comedian it is. It might have been Dave Chappelle, but he's like, he's like, how does Superman like fly, fly faster? faster? Yeah. He's like, does he just go? Mm, or <laughs> like you push and it goes right. yeah, yeah i've seen that i love that so it's, it's like it's I, something i've never thought about yeah. in my life and i'm like that's a good point yeah like how do you how does he fly faster because like i'm thinking to myself like okay yeah i could fly which is great which is cool because yeah. i don't have to worry about traffic blah blah blah. I just get to go but doesn't mean just because i can fly doesn't mean i'm gonna go like super fast like right. it's probably relative like on you how fast you can run same, or something yeah, like that if you fly the same speed you walk run i mean like that's cool and all and like again does it take physical exertion yeah because otherwise i'm just I'm probably gonna I'm take just, a car i'm just gonna drive my car dude <laughs> yeah. i'm making the payments i might as well to do yeah, it yeah yeah it's, it's a low payment so like that's why i feel like telekinesis is cool because i always wanted to be able to be like just i really want that book 
and then pull that book off the shelf and grab it. Mm-hmm. Or like, uh, I guess, like, what are the things that are more t- just moving things with your mind? Going back to the last question, mm-hmm. if if I if it comes with the abilities that come with it, a wand from Harry Potter. Ooh. Oh, oh, for the artifact. But it can't just be for the artifact. But it can't just be a wand. And it's like, well, you're not magic, so mm-hmm. sucks for sucks. Like, yeah. you have to be able to use it. It has, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It has to come with the inherited abilities. And I All feel right. like if I stole a wand, because you said it would be the person you stole from would be coming after mm-hmm. you. So if I steal from like some rookie, you know, <laughs> yeah. take, yes, I will take a wand from an eleven year old child. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, are you gonna steal the elder wand from Voldemort? Hell no. I'm taking some <laughs> dragon core wand yeah. from some new hi, I'm here for Hogwarts. And I'm like, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not. This is mine now. <laughs> like, a, like some first year in Dialogue Alley. He's like, I went to Elevander. <laughs> you were like, yeah, hey, you hey, go back in there and get another one, bitch, because this was mine. Right? Like you could the eleven year old comes to this world and I'm like, I think I can handle the eleven year old. I've got a magic wand right now. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> yeah. that's a good point dude that's actually pretty funny um yeah so what was to invisibility is one of your third is your third I, choice invisibility is one of mine i think teleportation is probably i do like that's the, a fucking good so, one though so yours is telekinesis but not uh, there's a difference between telekinesis and telepath tele 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 yeah i'm i'm being judged by the internet so hard right now and i can feel it the ability to read minds and i know you know the word telepathy just, thank you telepathy i couldn't yeah. get it out right my telepathy. syllables were dude doing me the too right i thing. was like i was like nah, telepathy uh, am i broken <laughs> yeah. i definitely was broken dude. yeah <laughs> um yeah i think i think that would be a fun one i the thing is i have anxiety can you so shut off telepathy though people, can yeah. you shut it off well can can xavier he i think he can't I think that's the. I yeah. think that's the catch. I, I, no, 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 no. He can. I think he can. He kind of shuts it but out because he uses Cerebro to enhance his abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I think he. I don't. I don't remember. Dude, I gotta watch X Men again because yeah, yeah. I can't did, remember. Did you? You've seen Logan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that scene so where sad. it's like where spoilers if you haven't seen Logan. It's not like a major spoiler, but like at one point we find out that Xavier is having like strokes, strokes, and, and it's it, like his power is just blasting at a hundred percent, and it's like it like affects can, people yeah, yeah. i think that's what happened to a lot of the x-men is that they he killed them by accident oh, okay uh spoiler i don't remember that i know that a lot of them were getting killed by the government so yeah that's that, it yeah. that's a big x-men theme mm-hmm. um yeah so like that i that concerns me but like yeah if i could pull it back in turn it off turn it on yeah but i have anxiety so i would use it and be like i don't know is this person mad at me and then i'd read their mind and they'd be like yeah i fuck this guy and i'd be like I wish I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's but a, also, you can go to somebody and be like, again, I I don't know why, like, <laughs> robbery is the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> you can just go to somebody and be like, hey, what's your bank password again? And they're like, I'm not going to tell you that. And then you turn it on. It's like 7413 or whatever it is. Yeah, like, yeah. That is not my actual bank Actually, password. there's a funny video talking about that, like, where there's like, when you and your bro get your powers for the first time and you're going to be the greatest heroes ever. And it shows, like, your buddy who's a villain yeah. he's like it's funny that you assume that i was going to be a hero yeah like, and like oh that's so deep i like to like, think i'm a good person yeah i i think i try to do the right by people i try to you know help people be kind to people but you're right the minute somebody's like here's a superpower i'm like so i'm robbing a bank <laughs> yeah 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 and like that's how i think about it. i'm like i feel like if i really had power i would try to do the best i could to mm-hmm. help people but i'm not gonna lie like you know, the government screwed me over. I might screw them over a little right. bit. Those banks are insured through the nose. Yeah. Like nobody's act. It's like in the Joker scene where he's like, nobody's actually getting hurt here. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. So I think super speed is, is, is a top three Invisibility is a top three. I also, one of the reasons I would want to do invisibility is because like, I have this fly on the wall wish where it's like don't you want to just like be in the room when like you know nfl execs are talking about you know who's who's getting hired or who they're they're aiming for to draft that year and it's like i just want to be invisible and be like yeah who are you talking about you know what i mean yeah <laughs> which goes like, into the mind that's like, reading that's too. a caveat thing too like you said like mind reading was like it's like yeah you could be in the room mm. but do you really want to be in the room because then they might say you they might pick someone who you think sucks yeah and then you're like you're like son of a and you're like, well, what the fuck is that? You little mother. And they're like, yeah. did you hear something? And I'm like, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's, for me, I think it's a knowledge is power thing. I'm a, I'm a Ravenclaw. Yeah. I, I'm a big thirst for knowledge. Le- you know, learn everything you can, absorb what you can. 
Um, and so like, yeah, I think invisibility and uh, being able to read minds kind of goes into that. Like, yeah, this is, this is uncharted territory. Well, not invisibility. Technically you'd be in charted territory. You'd just be in the room, but like mind reading, mm -hmm. you would just be able to get knowledge that like nobody else can read minds. Yeah, yeah. So like I would get this, this knowledge base that I don't have normally. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very nosy person. <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong with that. Nothing um, wrong with that. Yeah. But but teleportation, I think, is is probably my number one because I'm such a huge fan of travel that to be able to be like, especially if I could teleport people Honestly, with me and there's yeah. no restrictions, if I could be like, like the movie Jumper, mm -hmm. if I could just be like, if the only restriction is like you have to have been there or yeah, like, yeah. <clears throat> then I would just totally like. Like, hey babe, you want pizza from Italy? Like you mm -hmm. wanna you wanna go to Japan tonight? You wanna go visit Australia? Oh, it's cold. Let's go to Australia where it's summer. Let's go to Hobbington and in, in New Zealand and go check out and not have to fly twenty four hours yeah. to do it. Dude, like, teleportation is actually a pretty good one. And and that's where I feel like um see, I picked telekinesis is because I'm always like trying to not that I'm lazy, but I can be kind of lazy oh, where yeah. I kind of I'm trying to like pick powers that would like really enhance my life. It's a top five power for anyone. I yeah, feel because like. like like say I didn't really want to get up to get something I could just use my mind to do it. But teleportation is pretty good, too, because being able to travel to and from work easily. Oh, yeah. Um, Not to worry about that. You know, just overall enhances your lifestyle. Well, and tenfold. you could totally like you don't even have to go to work at that point. You could start a whole like, hey, I have a teleportation business. Mm -hmm. It's like you need to get this from California to New York in an hour. I got you. I got you. Yeah. It's going to cost you a ton of money. Yeah. But I got you. That's actually smart. That's a good idea, too. Yeah. Hmm. President needs to. Uh oh, we're under attack. We need to get the president out as soon as possible. I got you, fam. Yeah. See, I feel like. Um, I wouldn't mind having Logan super healing too, though. I, I feel like, okay. But so, that's also a caveat because like, say you lit, like how Logan, he kind of yeah, lives, yeah, yeah. he lived a long fucking life. It's kind of like a blessing and a curse. Yeah. If I could, okay. If I could extend my powers out healing wise, or if I could have a superpower that healed. Oh, people, like you could heal people. That would be probably, uh, especially because, uh, my wife has fibro myalgia mm -hmm. so like uh she has a lot of pain that she goes through on just a daily basis she has yeah. a lot of pain um if i could just take that from her like that would probably be one of my genie wishes if i like is that like just taking mm -hmm. people's pain away yeah yeah so i think that would uh, that would play into one of my powers too is like it all kind of wraps around the same way and to make you feel better, if I did steal that kid's Harry Potter wand, uh, then I would totally use it for Accio all the time, which is the summoning chart. Yeah, yeah. Like the number one thing I would use, I'd be like, oh man, I don't want to get my soda. Accio soda. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually thought of another artifact that you might appreciate. Oh, okay. Um, I was thinking about taking the green lantern lamp <gasps> and ring. That's a good one. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's a really good one. I'm a huge Green Lantern fan, because um, yeah. I feel like I feel like being able to turn into the Green Lantern and just manifesting anything you can think of is fucking sweet. Yeah, but then you gotta but deal then, with you gotta deal with fucking. Uh, but a ringless one, a ringless like Hal Jordan coming after you. <laughs> True. <laughs> like, oh man, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's not. I was gonna say like either either he's coming after you or you would have to deal with Sinestro. Ooh, ooh, all right. Iron Man suit. Ooh, Iron Man suit. But then you, but, but then hold on. You got to deal with Tony Stark. He is a genius. He is a genius, and he would come after you. But I feel like if I was like, hey, man, we don't have an Iron Man in this universe, and the world needs protecting, and you have 900 suits, can I just have this basic suit? I feel like because he's a good guy, he'd be like, I mean, he is a bit of a dick. But yeah, he, I don't I think like he would give it He you. would either be like, no, or he'd be like, you gotta use it responsibly and i'll be like mostly <laughs> <laughs> what is up my nerds i want to introduce you to anime town creations your ultimate destination for anime inspired vinyl decals are you a diehard anime fan who can't get enough of your favorite characters do you want to carry your passion for anime everywhere you go want to level up your gaming setup with epic vinyl decals need a desk pad that's not just functional but a work of art Look no further because AnimeTownCreations.com has got you covered. When you shop at AnimeTownCreations.com, you enjoy these fantastic perks like exclusive designs, premium quality, endless possibilities, and customer satisfaction. 
At AnimeTownCreations.com, they bring your favorite anime characters and themes to life like never before. Deck out your credit card with stunning custom designed anime decals that showcase your unique style. Transform your gaming console into a masterpiece with their high quality vinyl decals your opponents won't know it hit them. Work or play in style with their exceptional desk pads featuring vibrant anime inspired artwork. Are you ready to join the Anime Town Creations family? Visit their website today and explore their amazing collection and stay up to date with their latest creation. Don't miss out on the chance to turn your world into an anime wonderland. With the coupon code NERDY10, get 10% off your first purchase. That's NERDY10. AnimeTownCreations.com. Bring your love for anime to life one decal at a time. The, the problem with that too is like, think about the world we live in, right? Mm -hmm. If you had the Iron Man suit, which is like a great... It's a great um, opportunity to do good with because of how awesome it is, but it is a weapon, and like our government would want that fucking thing yeah. so bad. And they well, would that's do... a big point of Iron Man too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. And they would do whatever they could to fucking right. get that from you. That's why I mean I think you gotta you gotta keep it under wraps. But I, then again, I you're flying around. Though. I think people underestimate. They're like, I'm like, oh, I wouldn't tell people, and they'd be like, they would see you flying out yeah. of your house and yeah. be like, there's the target. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but, Iron Man suit's good, dude. But Iron Man, especially like the nanotech suit where you can mm. just like boop it. Yeah. You don't have to like carry it around and yeah. have the whole thing. You could just have your watch and be like, and then you're Iron Man. Like, that's pretty sweet. Can okay. you take this? <laughs> this isn't technically even stealing from anyone. The spider from Spider Man and I make it bite you. You could, but my luck is that it wouldn't enhance my abilities. I just become like a cripple or something. <laughs> you just like, I'd just be like, and I'll be like better. I'm like, Radioactive. I really did good, didn't I? <laughs> Radioactive spider bites you, and it's like, and you have cancer. And yeah. Ah like, oh, man, I thought I was gonna get super. It was like, a fifty-fifty shot. It's really genetic. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, that's a fucking good one. Yeah, um, I'm sure if I thought, like, if I delved really deep into it, like, like a lot of the Flash Rogues Gallery has a lot of like super powered items, but then mm -hmm. again, it again it comes with that like. Do I want Captain Cold coming after me? Or? Yeah. And that's like, I'm trying to think of um, like any of my superhero abilities. I know. I'm running through superheroes in my yeah, head. Yeah, I'm like superheroes. But then like, I don't even have to stop with superheroes. I could like, I can think of like any animes that I really would want to do. Because um, like, I, I could say like Full Metal Alchemist, like the book or whatever. But like, it's like, eh. yeah. honestly, it would be kind of cool. Would to be have the Goblet of Fire trophy on my shelf. That's very true, but but then again, it doesn't it doesn't give you anything. Yeah, yet. but no, I got like, it. It's not a bad one. Like if I I could I could get, I need to find like a, a universe hopping device so that I can just like yeah. It's the same loop that I'm <laughs> the same loophole I'm looking through with the genies where I'm like I could just wish for more genies. Yeah, it's like if I get a universe jumping device, then I could jump to other universes, steal devices, and then only the guy who had the universe hopping device would be coming after me. I got one. Okay, I got one. Hit me. The Death Notebook. Would you use it? <sighs> I neither confirm nor deny that I would use it. Sometimes <laughs> there are certain people in my life that I feel deserve repercussion. <laughs> um, d no, of course I wouldn't use it. <laughs> um, the death note one is a good one, but then you would you have, would it be light coming after you or would it be the, uh, the death God? Because if mm. light's coming after me, that's a problem. Yeah. If a death God is coming after me, that's a bigger problem. Although they have an issue like interacting with humans. Yeah. I also, I think whoever, but if the death God comes after you, right? I think whoever you hold the book. So you're technically his master. That's a good point. So you then have the death God on your side. Yes. Kind of. And, but I feel like if you're right, you're right. If light comes after you, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm dumb, right. but I ain't, I I'm ain't not like Yagami's mind. Yeah, like, yeah. Is that, that's his last name, right? Yagami. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm not light smart, and I'm not I'm not L smart. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, but I feel like it'd be a good one. I feel like, but at least he's human. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's a reassurance to being like even the smartest human. Is, just because he's smart doesn't mean like, doesn't mean he can really like. He he would have to plan. It's almost like Batman. He has to plan shit. And he's in a whole new world. Yeah. Like, again, he's smart. I'm not saying that he wouldn't. He wouldn't 
adapt, but but there's this like, you know, you could just I could just write write your name in the death note. <laughs> yeah, Light Yagami. Got it. <laughs> oh, sound it out. Sound it out. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think of another one. Um, yeah, that's that's a good one. Uh, what about like a Gundam? Oh, see, that's is it. So I guess we're yeah. No, I mean, fuck yeah, I take a Gundam. And then, like, the guy who owns the Gundam comes after you, and you're like, hello, tiny human. <laughs> but the thing with a Gundam I would want is specific. It'd be the Gundam Wing Gundam from Gundam Wing. Okay. Um, because the angelicness of having the angel wings and being able to fly into space is fucking cool. That is really cool. Um, Gundam would be cool. A Gundam one would be cool. But then that's so, like, I deal with the same thing as, like, the Iron Man suit. Like, the yeah. government sees that, and they're like... But yeah, yours Jordan, is more likely to raise red flags than mine is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Jordan made a good point about this because when okay. I was when I was over his house uh, one time, we were talking. I was like, I was like, man, how cool would it be to have a a mobile suit like a Gundam, and like we actually like use those to fight and stuff like that. And he's like, yeah, but it's very impractical. He's like, the government spends billions of dollars to make these giant suits so that way they could just fight each other. Yeah, I was like, you're right. I was like, well, that once make one sense. person has a giant mech suit. You can't be the government that doesn't have a giant yeah, exactly. suit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's how I feel. So that's pretty good. Uh, ooh, I would love. So like how you were saying, you would love to have a wand, right? Yeah, I would love to have Gandalf's staff. And again, I feel like the same rules apply. Like you can use the magic that is mm -hmm. funneled through it. I mean, we all know Gand Gandalf's a demigod essentially, but yeah. like you wouldn't get the full demigod set, but you get the gray wizard set for sure. I would just get a stern talking to when he came. He's like, he would come and be like, give me my staff. He was like, <laughs> he was like you, are you a took? Are you a took? Because you do dumb shit. <laughs> Fool of a smith. Yeah. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm sorry again. Now, if you give me like that grandpa yeah, vibe, yeah, like, he's, he's very like, disappointed I'm in disapp me. I'm more disappointed. Than, like, and you'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Can I introduce you to Ian McKellen? You're going to be <laughs> blown after this. <laughs> you look just like him. Yeah, you guys are like twins. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, that's, no, that's a really good one. Same with, uh, I feel like, um, so I wouldn't do this, but like we're now entering like bigger things. And I'm okay. like, what about like the Black Pearl from, uh, uh, oh, from Pirates of the Caribbean, or or even like one of their like more magical items that they have in that universe. Mm. Like, um, see, the problem with the Black Pearl is I don't know how to fucking sail. I don't know how to sail either, and we're not really in an environment where pirates yeah. thrive anymore. Yeah. <laughs> also, the uh, dock fees are going to cost a dude. lot of money. Also, as a side note, okay, I'm about to probably out myself as an idiot on the internet but like i was i'm watching this neck netflix docuseries about pirates and like mm. the actual pirates behind them and the stories and everything i guess i i always knew that they were like in the like bahamas area mm. uh, <clears throat> but i didn't realize that like a lot of pirates would were or like would would hang out or were from like the east coast like yeah. boston uh, and florida north carolina really? i like, thought they were more like south they like could be, but yeah. like there was, I think there was definitely some that came down from Boston. Oh, okay, and, and then would just like sail the coast and then go down to the Bahamas okay. and everything like that. And I was like, I didn't realize that like pirates, even though they were like a British problem, mm -hmm. were like an American thing. Like mm. that must be why we love pirates so much because we're like, hey, there are pirates. That's us. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> we did that. Yeah, rebellion. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually interesting. Black Pearl, huh? The Black Pearl. Like, um, I, it, it wouldn't top my list. But if, you know, if I could just take anything from any universe, as unlimited as I want, it would be on there. I got actually. another power. I know we're flip-flopping between different things. Mm -hmm. Shape-shifting. Ooh. Dude, like a Beast Boy type of thing. Okay. Like, being able to transform to any animal. Did you ever read Animorphs growing up? I did read Animorphs. I know what you're talking about. That, I think that would be my, if I were to allow that power to happen. Like Beast Boy can just kind of like do it. Whereas mm. Animorphs, they had to like, they had to touch an animal first in order to like absorb their DNA mm. and like transform yeah, into them. Yeah, but I'm not going up to a fucking tiger. Yeah, that's what makes it tough, man. How much <laughs> do you want that tiger? I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, like you'd be a golden retriever for a lot. <laughs> I'd probably be a golden retriever for a while until I like, like, imagine you could go to a zoo and then mm -hmm. like do like, or, or like a specialty place that does like, oh, you can like, 
I mean, that's probably not great, but like, come pet this like baby calf, like baby tiger, like, and you just like pet the baby tiger, and then you'd have tiger DNA. Mm. You just got to be smart about it, you know? What I yeah, mean? Like, how much? Saying. How much do you want it? Silverback gorilla? No. <laughs> Unless it's like, no, you know what you could do? You could become a like a vet for a zoo, oh. like a zoologist, and, and then like when they're like, surgery when they're like knocked out. Yeah, and you're just like you don't even have to. You don't even have to be the main. You could just be like a helper and just be like, oh. What a, what a gentle looking sleeping boy. And then you're like, yeah, give me gorilla DNA. <laughs> <laughs> but what's cool though about Beast Boy's powers is that he could be like, he could be like a dinosaur. Dinosaurs too. Yeah. 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 But I, I would even like, I would even go into the realm of like Mystique's powers. Yeah. I, Mystique's powers go into, well, okay. It, it plays to one of my desires for several reasons. Numero uno. I have body dysmorphia. Uh, yeah. I think I don't love how I look. I think I look okay. But I would just constantly be like six pack abs, bolder shoulders, mm-hmm. like all that stuff. I would just do myself, but like nice. <laughs> like, yeah. be like this is what I would look like with 6% body fat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and also that plays into the whole like being a fly on the wall. Like it, it is this power and authority that you can't naturally have. And, and even more so because if I wanted to be like, I don't know, Steve Jobs at the height of Apple. I could just be like, all right, mm-hmm. Steve Jobs. And then I go in there and I'm like, iPods need to be smaller and more affordable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you have the ability to do that. And 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 I think that would be really cool is to just be able to like step into it. And again, this is the, this is where it's like, I'm a good person. And then it's like, what if you could be Mystique? And I'm like, all right. So I would, <laughs> I would. Like I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna like start a war or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. I would I would be like Robin Hood, but I it would be I would be an anti-hero at best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he's doing the right thing, or he's doing the wrong thing, but for the right reasons. So like that that's cool. So I got one for you. Okay. Okay. One one last question before we wrap up okay. here. <clears throat> so me and another one of my friends play this game. It's uh, what in- inconsequential hill will you die on every time? And it can't be anything that, like people say traffic all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's like, traffic is totally consequential. It has to be something that is completely irrelevant, that doesn't matter to anyone, but you will die on this hill. I'll give you an example to help you get into the mindset. Mine. Uh, We used to work together at a company. Yep. And there was a, a, a woman who worked there who was also very nerdy, and she and I would talk nerdy stuff every now and then. And we were talking about Game of Thrones, and she was like, I said something dragon, and she goes, Well, they're not dragons. And I was I like, remember talking this, yeah. And I was like, What do you mean? And she goes, They're wyverns. And I was like, Okay. And she was like, So they're not dragons. And I was like, No, they're dragons. And she was like, No, if they have arms for, if they have wings for arms, they're wyverns. If they have four legs and wings, they're dragons. And I was like, Wyverns are dragons. They are dragon. They're a subset of dragon. It's like it's like saying it's not a it's not a lizard. It's a chameleon. And it's mm-hmm. like I and I it drove me nuts. And that is a hill I will die on every single time. Is that they're just dragons? Stop trying to correct me. They're dra- They don't matter. They doesn't exist. It doesn't matter in any context. It drives me up the wall, and I will fight you to the death if you try to tell me that a wyvern is not a dragon. <laughs> so that that is a good example for okay. one. So a hill that I will die on. Yeah. Um, so like for you, it could be like Joker's irredeemable or something like that, wow. where it's like some people might say, well, Joker's got some good points. He's trying to, you know, introduce some, introduce some anarchy. Like, yeah, no. um, I think, I think there's, this is one that uh, I think a lot of people may, uh, that I've heard a lot is that they don't consider Batman a superhero. Mm, because he doesn't have any superpowers. He doesn't have powers. Mm. That's but a the, good one. But the problem is, yeah, he may not... Let's break down... Yeah, super, right? right. Super, okay, cool. He does feats that most humans can't do. Mm-hmm. Uh, super genius, super strong. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's not like Superman strong, but for a human... Right, he's, he's at fucking, the peak of, he's of peak human. He's Krillin. He's, <laughs> exactly. Oh, it feels bad when you say it like that. Yeah, though. yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't feel as good. It doesn't taste as good. <laughs> And taste is good but uh but like people will say like oh yeah but like superman would murk him in an instant i'm like eh. well and so the whole superman versus Batman, not to get off track but the superman versus batman debate is is always null and void in my opinion because yeah. like 
Superman's power is not his his abilities. His power is his restraint. His restraint, yeah. Like he is a god trying to be a man, mm-hmm. whereas Batman is a man trying to be a god. Yeah. <laughs> so like they clash, but like yeah. I love Batman, and I agree that with prep time, prep time I think Batman could hold his own. But that's mm-hmm. only because Superman is such a threat that he can't not have a plan yeah. for Batman or for Superman. But that said, if Superman like like he's got his contingencies, but if Superman just showed up at the Batcave one day and was like, "I'm going to throw my whole body and just go like through the cave and just tear it all down on top of you." Yeah, Superman wins every time. Yeah. But like I it's like it's a hill I can die on. It's like not that I'm just I am a huge Batman fanboy. It's just like it's crazy to me when people say he's not a superhero. Yeah. I'm like, okay. What like what 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 is he then? Just a hero? He's just like dude. Just like I feel like if you're in the Justice League, you by default are a superhero. So yeah. okay, this, you're a huge Nightwing fan. Mm-hmm. Do you also consider Nightwing a superhero? Absolutely. Okay. So basically, anyone who's going out there and do, like Daredevil, who yeah, doesn't necessarily Daredevil, have so, like a like, ton of powers. See, but, and this is where I I have I, this is where I also I, I love actual heroes that have powers and everything, but I feel like I have more respect in the in the world of like Marvel and DC mm-hmm. for superheroes or characters that are human mm-hmm. and do super superhuman powered feats yeah like they they're holding their own with like how about this how about if you can defeat a super villain you earn the title of superhero yeah and if you haven't then you're just a hero so like you got to take down your first big bad in order to get the super part of right. the hero right. but since batman takes down super villains all the time like like it's oh yeah it's tuesday i took down three yeah Yeah. it's just like it's just something that irks me a lot is because like we're not going out there and doing what he's doing right you know like tell me that you you want to go jump off a roof and shoot a thing and swing like 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 i for my profession i go on roofs rooftops a lot yeah and sometimes i go to the edge dude my like my palm sweat yeah and i curl i like i'm like i'm like oh god like, and just the thought this dude just like leaps off the building he can't fly yeah so and, here's a random story for you real quick i went to new york for comic-con in mm-hmm. october and <clears throat> me and some friends went out to uh, a dinner and we, we we were like let's just go out and find somewhere to to grab some dinner real quick and we found a rooftop bar and it was not a rooftop rooftop bar. It was like they had a rooftop bar, but it was mm-hmm. like an actual restaurant. But then they had an outdoor seating area, mm-hmm. except instead of a big wall, it was like to keep people from falling over the edge. Mm-hmm. It was a like a really like this thick glass, glass. Mm-hmm. but you could see perfectly through it all the way straight down. So it looked like you like you if you turn your brain off a little bit. It just feels like you're standing on the edge of a cliff. Mm-hmm. And that's where our tables were. You would sit and it was like a lounge style. So it was like sitting around a, like a fire pit. And so I'm sitting down next to the glass and I'm like, I love rooftop bars. I've been skydiving. I love all that stuff. Something about just sitting there made my brain like, nope. I've done rooftop bars. I've done, I stand, I've stood on cliffs. I have gone skydiving. Something about just sitting and eating, my brain was like, you can't relax and do this at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I had to switch seats with someone so that I could be a little further away because mm. like the dramatic drop. And again, this is I'm in my head, this is how nerdy I am. In mm-hmm. my head, I'm like, Spider-Man does this all the time. <laughs> no problem. Sure, we're 30 floors up. Who yeah. cares? Yeah. And and something about like eating and like because i think it's a vulnerability like eating and pooping are mm-hmm. vulnerable states <laughs> yeah yeah uh, like where you're like uh my your body kind of has to like relax itself mm-hmm. and like be able to like be calm yeah yeah and it was it was rough man yeah. so like yeah somebody like batman who's like doesn't even have superpowers and is just jumping off buildings like that and just like swinging or using his cape to like fly himself mm-hmm. depending on which version of batman you're working on right like that's 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 super in my opinion like, yeah you get it you can have a super <laughs> yeah yeah so like it's, i think that's a hill i'd die on yeah that's a good one that's a really good inconsequential yeah excuse me inconsequential hill yeah i think we can end it there man all right man it's been good to see you thanks for having me over yeah it's nice that people don't just see my normally when i'm on the podcast i record from from home and it's it's in i'm again you guys know i'm a voice actor it's in my recording studio so like mm-hmm. it's not built 
<laughs> voice actors aren't built to be watched. <laughs> <laughs> They're heard. Yeah, like we're heard. And so like my background is is not. So this is beautiful, man. Yeah, I love you. this. You, it's a work in progress. There's going to be more stuff back there for guests and stuff like that. But it's still a work in progress. Yeah. I appreciate it. Appreciate uh, appreciate you coming. Yeah. Um, Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Uh, now, do you have anything to plug? Um um, if you want to, if you're looking for a voice actor, I just redid my website recently, zackkrasny.com, Z-A-C-K-K-R-A-S-N-E-Y.com. Um, I am on, <clears throat> I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. Uh, I, the thing is like my whole thing, like I used to have like a split between like, this is my voiceover stuff. This is my personal stuff. And now it all just, I let it bleed together. Sure. So, uh, Zach Krasny on, uh, Instagram, on t- X or Twitter, whatever you feel like. Call- I, I hate calling it X. I don't want to, um, <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. You can find me, talk to me if you want. And then, yeah, if you need a voice actor, happy. Nice. Yeah. I've heard of stuff. He's very good. Uh, what he does, he is a true professional. Um, so guys, thank you for watching. Um, check out the gaming channel as well. Uh, episodes of the gaming channel come out on Sundays at 4 p.m. Um, also follow the social medias, mm-hmm. um, the nerdy mind on TikTok and Instagram. That's and YouTube shorts is where I mainly post a lot of clips. So you can watch the full episode if you want to, but if you really just like that, like, you know, you know, crumbs type of thing, like you'd like just want to grab and go type of stuff. Absolutely. I put up clips of the episodes all the time on, uh, Instagram and, um, TikTok youtube shorts and link the actual full episode in there with it so you can always just if you want to f- listen more you can go uh listen more um and the same thing with the gaming channel um gaming episodes i put out the funniest clips i could find of the gaming episodes they're great uh, yeah it's <laughs> 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 fun. um been playing a lot more of uh, lethal company that's out right now mm-hmm. also uh pal world that's Power out world. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so i'm really excited for Power world um and then just overall random other stuff um but definitely check out those socials as well on um tiktok and instagram and youtube shorts but zach thank you as well for coming on again and um as always stay nerdy my friends mm-hmm.